Hey everyone, welcome back to the course. And uh, in the previous video, we talked about what is add event listener. In this video, we'll talk about what are the custom events, a very important concept whenever you are working with Lightning Web Component. Custom events, as its name indicates, these are the events that we can create by our own with the help of a new class, which is provided by JavaScript, that is custom event. So, for example, suppose that there is a scenario, you have got a button and on the button click you are calling the method called hello. And this particular method is also dispatching one event that is being handled by some other component or handled by some other DOM element which can be a paragraph or another division. So here what we have to do is, we say that we have got an event which is a custom event which we have created. And this custom event takes uh, three parameters but we can also give two parameters and uh, that completely depends upon us what parameter we wanted to send. So the number one is mandatory which is, star, uh, which is the name of your event. It can be start, it can be save, it can be cancel, it can be pagination or it can be next or previous. Whatever the name you wanted to give it can be anything. And then the second parameter is basically the object uh, which the name of that parameter is always going to be detailed. And then under that detail, either you can send the complete object or you can send the string format. It, it completely depends upon you what sort of data you wanted to send from this particular event. And then there are two more parameters. One is bubbles and one is composed. So we are not going to talk about much uh, into those variables. We have already discussed about those variables in the JavaScript uh, in our Lightning Web component. Once you've got this variable, what we need to do is basically we need to add the event listener to a particular event or uh, not event to a particular DOM element so that we can uh, execute that event, right? So that is what we have used here, add event listener and you are already aware about that. And then what we have to do is we have to dispatch this particular event because up to here what we did is we created the event and now what we did is we binded that event to a particular element but we did not execute it, right? how that particular event is going to execute or going to take place. So for that, there is a method called dispatch event, which takes a parameter, which is a type of custom event, which we need to execute over here. So what we have to do is, we have to find out our element, whatever our element is, and then say that dispatch event. And then whatever the event we have prepared, and this is the name of that event is event. That is why we are dispatching that. And then we have got this handle start method is here and this method is just basically doing alert whatever the alert or whatever the data we are sending through this custom event. So what it is doing is it is saying that okay event dot detail because this is the one which we have got and then under there is one parameter called platform. We have got event dot detail dot platform. So this is about our custom event and a very useful concept that we are going to work in lightning web component as well. So let's quickly see how this works. So uh, this is the code that we have talked about. Like we have just added few things over here. One is uh, basically our button which is already there and on the click of that button we are calling the function hello. And then we have got one paragraph which is basically going to uh, get this particular event that we are creating which is start. Okay. So we have got this. So whenever we are clicking this button, this particular method is getting executed. We are preparing the event. We are uh, adding that event to our particular element which is paragraph and then we are dispatching and then what we did is we just alert that whatever we have seen over there in the video uh, in our uh, presentation as well now say that if i wanted to say that source right what i can do is i can send one more parameter over here we say that okay we have got source and we say that hello method this is our source right and that is what we have seen over here now if you go ahead and click on run and we click here we have got sfdc panther because this is what the alert we have got the platform one and if you click ok we have got hello method which is related to our source so this is i think uh, uh, this is very simple and very important concept whenever uh, as i said uh, working with lwc because in lwc this custom event is going to play a very important role Suppose that you have got some other uh, things. Uh, if you wanted to send the value like this itself, you say that detail. Uh, let me quickly hit enter. Say that you wanted to send the value like this, you've got detail, and you say that detail goes over here, right? Now, how you will access this? You'll just access event.detail 
and you don't need to access anything else you have just got over here just go ahead refer this okay now uh, we got that it happens uh we've got detail okay uh, event dot detail goes over here there is something uh, there is some error that we are getting so let's quickly see here okay you can see here we are actually forgetting this particular curly braces which is opening that curly brace we haven't closed that now we have closed this if you click here you can see here detail goes over here so if you have some single thing you can also some uh, pass some single thing if you have multiple things you can use always the concept of uh, javascript object there where you can have param one uh, whatever you have got and then you have got uh, say that message uh, or uh, you say that you have wanted to send some sort of source you can have that source you have some sort of page number you can say page number or you have some sort of record id so these kind of things if you wanted to send you can send this and if you wanted to alert these at once so what you can do is you can just use as you know that this is basically the uh, object the javascript object so we can also stringify this this so we'll say that json dot stringify just go ahead i believe there is some error so let's quickly uh, inspect this and in the console uh, i'm sure there is top type of mistakes so i'll say that json dot stringify this is the method and we'll just go ahead say stringify click here okay, still we are not getting definitely there is something error yeah so if you see here in the event body we have we forget to put a comma over here after page number we just go ahead run it click here now you can see all the values are coming over here so basically that is how you work with the custom event along with your add event listener as well so uh, this is it for this video thank you for your time and uh, we'll meet into the next videos